One other thing about the products too, is that I'm seeing mushroom powders that haven't actually been decocted or cooked at all. And they're, you know, just dried mushrooms ground up. And I'm like, <clears throat> are you going to put that in a smoothie now? Well, that's problematic from multiple sides, right? Because yeah. putting it in a smoothie, what's the microbial content? If you don't have a kill step, which is effectively tincturing is a kill step, that product is now potentially dangerous for people. Like if they aren't clearly indicating that you need to boil it in hot water or do some sort right. of process, I mean, all the big tea companies or even small tea companies, you sell dried herbs, but it's never under the auspice that you're just going to be like eating dried herbs. It's like, you're going right. to make them into tea or you're going to make a tincture out of them or whatever. That's one issue for sure. Also for mushrooms, it's like you have to process them for them to be effective. Even if like I've done some extracts where I just do a hot water extract and then I dry everything back down onto itself and it's a powder Mm -hmm. again. Yep. Like a one-to-one powder, but you have to break down the cell wall because our body doesn't create enough chitinase. Um, Mm -hmm. to break down the cell wall of the mushroom, which is primarily made of chitin, like the same materials, our fingernails, same materials, crustaceans. And our body just doesn't have the capacity to break it down. So if we just eat dried mushrooms, it's like you're not really going to get much of the benefit from them. Or even fresh mushrooms, like at the salad bar at the friendly. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, People are like, oh, I don't like mushrooms. I'm like, did you try it raw at the salad bar? (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) Exactly. Like you you need to cook them to cook them or hot water is like the the basic, like Mm -hmm. what you need to do. 